Konnichiwa, YouTubers. This is Red Stock straight from Point Magoo, California. Today we're going to do a video review of Transformers Prime First Edition, Optimus Prime. So let's take a look at the box. It's a weird looking box. Uh, don't like the little trapezoidal sh looking shape here. First Edition series, Optimus Prime. There we go. It has a display stand, which is kind of weird. It's just in there. I'm not going to take it out. <laughs> it's just a little piece of paper. Alright, so there it is, a little lightning strike, Autobot logo, first edition, yeah. Uh, top, just a little more Autobot logo, side of the box here, first edition, prime, here it is. Back of the box, comes with his plasma cannon and Cybertronian battle sword, nice little truck mode, and remember the prime series, so this is about two years old. So there you go, doo doo doo. Not bad. Bottom of the box if you want to. And there's that display stand, which is, yeah, I'll take it or leave it. It's just a little piece of paper. You can kind of see it popping out right there. Yeah, I'm not going to take it out. All right. If you want to, you can. But, oops. Bump the box here. That's okay. And we'll have a habit of tendency of doing that. And yeah, as far as what it is, it does roll really well trying to get this pegged out and it looks pretty good i like the detail in here very clear plastic and let me see if i can show you the translucent rather so you can see it's translucent translucent over here soft little plastic little smokestacks of course uh, you know my deal on the smokestacks they're not big anymore they're not and they're not they're soft rubber they used to be pointy and tall you can store the little cannon, and I like the little speckled bits on this cannon. This is really neat. And his little sword over here, where the hitch is. Of course, uh, I like the fact that they can actually store the weapons instead of having them lying around. You can see a little gap here for the feet, uh, but nothing huge. Transformation is pretty good. I can see, I love the translucent headlights. The Autobot symbol, kind of tiny, but other than that, uh, not big fan of the brown here. The little chocolate brown over there I don't know what the reason is and the back of the cab could use a little bit more detailing but it's not bad one thing I did want to point out I'm going to take these weapons uh, you can use that well, I do dig the fact that you can I heard that you can put the dark of the moon cab which I happen to have and y'all remember that review and it does fit fairly well on the back Ooh. let me see if I can all right, it's a little out of proportion. As you can see, the wheels are a little bit tinier. I wish it was a little bit bigger, but it rolls well. It does, and I wish this was more descriptive. This is the Japanese version. So it is what it is. You can definitely make it happen. So you do that. I wish, like I said, it hid the back parts a little better, but it's not bad. It looks good, pretty decent for your size. Hides a lot of the parts well. So yeah, seven out of 10 for this mode. All right, for transformation, it's kind of weird. Let's go to start with the feet. You can see the feet up here, which I like how they hit it. It's really neat. So these become the shin. First thing we're going to do, should have done, is snap this apart. All right, good. And pop that down. Good. And the shins will form over here. And, of course, they have a little, what do you call that? Oops. Man, be a little careful with this thing. All right, just like that. There we go. Feet heel spur, just like that. And these things should tab in just like so, but they don't pop in too well. Looks like it's holding, so good to go. So make sure that the shins pop into the feet here, or the legs. So that's pretty much it for the legs. Not too bad, got it done. Now we're going to start with the front here. You can see the guy's head, not a big deal. Awesome. Pop that out. I like the little chocolatey brown, and I like the fact that there are great details on there. You can see a little steering wheel, but other than that, uh, didn't need to be included. It's a little chintzy, but not bad. Pop it up. All right. I'm going to move this up. I'm going to move the little smokestacks up. So we're doing good. And then we're just going to pop these out let's see we already popped that out put the head up okay we're good for now we're going to split this front part and yeah this is a little tricky we're going to split that and then we're going to move these front portions up good and split these arms 
apart. I'm going to move that those wheel portions up here. They do move, as you can see. So, yeah. All right. The arms, kind of weird. They're going to just rotate. Split them up 90 degrees, and this is going to rotate up. Now, these two pieces right here will snap in the back, which is good. Which I like the fact that it does cover that. Now his uh, back is covered, and I like the plastic. It's a different, different mold than the other ones. Okay, so we move. These things are going to go ahead and pull back. Let's see if I remember. Excuse me if I don't get this right the first time. It's been a while since I transformed this darn thing. Oh gosh. I know that this is, we're just gonna move this down. Actually, while we have it, let me rotate the, rotate the legs so it's out of the way. There we go. They're gonna be forward so the waist does rotate 180. The wheels should pop. I know the wheels are supposed to pop in somewhere. So that, oh yeah, move these pieces down. Good point. And that should go out of the way. Awesome. I wish these connected somehow, but that's good because the wheels are going to become the shoulders. And I know there's a peg right here that pops into the wheel, which is nice. So move the chest piece up. And you got that fake chest piece, which is cool. It's kind of neat. And as I mentioned before, that peg right here goes into the wheel. Turn the arm down. What we're going to do is click that in. Just like that, rotate out, awesome. So you got that one arm done. Same thing with the other arm. I'm gonna peg that in, awesome. And I wish these things actually pegged in somewhere, but other than that, not that bad. So we're gonna rotate this out. Move that 90 degrees out, move the hand down. And that just snaps into place. Awesome. All right, let's see if I can plug that in. There we go. So transformation isn't that bad, which I like. Oh, and the smokestacks really don't peg in anywhere. So you got that. So yeah, this back section right here where the smokestacks are really don't peg in. And as you can see, the smokestacks just go in this hole. So they're not bad for the backpack isn't too bad I really appreciate that they did a little level of design like there so it's not too bad and uh, again not a big fan of the chocolatey brown I like the yellow I like the front pieces it looks good has light piping on the eyes let's see if we can make it happen yes you can kind of tell let's see I like the detailing on the face you can definitely tell that's prime he, he is prime indeed as far as the head it, I thought it was in a ball joint. Yeah, he is. Nothing on the neck, but yeah, definitely balls jointed on the head. So we got that. Articulation is pretty good. All right. Shoulder swivels. There's a little bicep swivel. And also, if you would like, you can swivel, flare this out, give it that look. And I also love that little big, huge Autobot symbol. All right. Shoulder does move out. You have a swivel on the bicep and another elbow hinge. Good to go. Swivel on the fists. And you can connect his little cannon with that. Weird looking. It doesn't really fit too well. But you can make it happen. There we go. Awesome. Waist articulation, which I'm a big fan of. Got ball jointed on the hip. Swivel on the knee. Single joint. And I, and I told you about this. It doesn't like to stay in place. But other than that, it has a swivel on the ankle and, of course, a little pivot here for the feet. I like the big heel spurs, and I wish that the shins actually attached better. Let's see. So you got this sword right here. One thing is that if you'd like, if you really like, you can connect both of them. So you have a sword. You got a cannon. I like the speckles, of, I like the speckles on it. Kind of neat. But like I said, if you really want, you can connect it. And it's no big deal. All you have to do, there's a slot right down there. Sword goes right there. Yeah. Good looking prime. Uh, I know they're difficult to find, but man, if you can find it, definitely. I was able to find this for 40 bucks with the box open. And there you can see, he is definitely Voyager size. I'll put him with my boy Megatron. So... 
While the cab mode, a little left to be desired, this is definitely where it's at. Good looking figure. I love the detailing on it. I wish they fixed the shins, but other than that, really good. I'll give this bad boy an 8 out of 10. Voyager size. I just like it. And the weapons, oh well, what can you do? Good looking figure. Alright, YouTubers, that's all I got. And I catch y'all next time.